same in shape and size so what you can say you can take this triangle and then place it on this triangle and then if both are covering each other completely both are congruent with each other once you will place the triangle suppose both are exactly same in shape and size both are congruent then once you will place pqr you will see p is coinciding with a q with coinciding with b and r will coincide with c so once this triangle abc is congruent with triangle pqr you will find that vertex p will go and overlap on vertex a vertex q will go and overlap on vertex b vertex r will go and overlap will with vertex c this is called corresponding vertex or this is called corresponding angles i can say angle a and angle p are corresponding angles because if you will just place them here and there just by tilting them uh, then they may, may not feel like congruent to each other so you have to place them properly just like the book if i was showing you both the books and if i will not place them like this if i will place them like this then this is not correct like this this doesn't seem congruent right can you see so mm -hmm. i have to place them properly so that they become congruent with each other now once i am placing them properly you can see this corner is lying on this corner now this corner of the blue book is lying on this corner similarly you can see this corner is lying on this and this corner is lying on this corner this corners are called corresponding vertex or this corners are also known as corresponding angles because at the corner only we get the angles right we can also say that this side and this side are corresponding side we can also say here this side and this side are corresponding side because that's how we will place and it will come out as a congruent okay so here also i am going to tell you here also i am going to tell you that angle a and angle p are corresponding angles similarly i am going to say that angle this two are corresponding angle angle r and angle c are corresponding angles so these are the pair of corresponding angles similarly we will be having corresponding sides so so that means ab and pq are corresponding sides okay similarly ac and pr are corresponding sides like that only bc and qr are corresponding sides is that clear to you now i was telling you that there are some set of rule by applying those rule we can check whether two triangles are congruent with each other or not so what are those rule it is not possible to always take out the first picture take out the second picture you ca cannot take out the first and second picture from your question paper right so there are some set of rule by using those rule we can check whether two triangles are congruent with each other or not so the rules are side 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 if first triangle side 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 is same as the second triangle side 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 then we can say both the triangle are congruent with each other similarly side angle side is there angle side angle is there angle angle side is there and rhs is there if this criteria is matching like if this criteria of one of the triangle is same as the same criteria of other triangle then we can say both the triangle are congruent with each other okay yes ifra uh, we have finished the first exercise here i was just giving her the overview of what exactly we have done what exactly we have started let's continue after that let's because the second exercise also contain the concept of congruency only so let's pick some question which will help you myself also and to you also so let's start
Let me take the questions. Just give me a moment. Suppose we are having this figure. Let me read the question. This is the figure we are having, okay? And the question says AB is a line segment. Here, AB is a line segment where P is the midpoint. So if AB is a line segment and P is the midpoint, can we say AP must be equals to BP or PB, right? Since it, it, it is written in the question only that P is the midpoint of the straight line AB. Okay. Now it also says D and E are point on the same side of AB. D and E are, we can see the points on the same side of AB such that angle PAT is equals to angle ABE. So, B, A, D, can you see this? Let me mark it with other color. Here, this one is equals to this one. Can you see it? It is also given that angle EPA is equals to angle DPB. So, this two angles is also same. Okay. So, let me write those. Angle BAD angle ABE similarly angle EPA is equal. equals to angle Okay, these are the given condition. We have to show that triangle DAP is congruent with triangle E. E BP. These two triangles, we have to show that both are congruent with each other and then we also have to show that AD is equals to PE. Okay. So if we will focus on this two triangle, that is D, A, P. Let me mark it. Can you see this red color triangle? Both of you? Can you see this red color triangle? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so we are going to compare that red color triangle with this green one. Okay. So the red one and the green one. Red one looks like this one. Here we are having the red one. And the green one I am drawing separately like this one. Okay. Now here in this two triangle, the red one name is A, P, D. And this one is E, P, B. 
okay so here we can see all the criteria few criteria are already given in the question only that is ap is equals to pb okay so first we know already the side ap is equals to side pb here i am writing ap is equals to pb that that is already given now what else we know we know this angle a is equals to we know this angle b right are you getting it so we can say angle bad is equals to angle ab now we can also say that angle ep is equals to angle dpb so here once you will look at the say triangle angle epa dpb we are not getting in our triangle can you see epa is not there in our triangle can you see when you will see both the separate triangle epa is it there let me rectangle keep it in rectangular box i am talking about this criteria which is given in the question angle epa is equals to angle db that is not coming in our triangle can you see both of you yes ma'am so these two are not there in our triangle so how we will take the other criteria for the triangle because you can see the list i have listed down over there rumaisha it can be side 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 it can be side angle side angle side angle that we will decide later on what exactly we are having but at least three things we must have same right so here two criteria like two things we got same apbp and angle bad is equals to angle abe these two thing we got same and it is matching with our triangle now what is the third thing which is matching in our triangle the third case which is given is not there in our triangle even so we have to understand that let's say this angle is x and let's say this angle is y so if this is y that will also be y right now if you will focus on completely the red triangle triangle apd the red one okay either you focus on the separate one or you focus over here if you will focus on the red triangle can we say angle apd is equals to x plus y both of you angle apd is equals to x plus y let me wipe the rest of the part can you see angle apd is equals to x plus y both of you can you see it yes ma'am yeah so and if we will focus on the other triangle and if i will wipe this This triangle. So, can we say angle EPB is also x plus y? EPB. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. So, I am going to write from here. I am going to write from here. that angle d p a is equals to angle e and both are x plus y is it clear to both of you yes ma'am so we got the three criteria same now if we will focus on now which criteria like which from the set of rule which rule exactly we are following we have to check it how we will check it by looking at the triangle which triangle any of the triangle just one triangle you just check it and see which criteria is getting same so i have rubbed the rest of the triangle and you see this angle this angle 
and AP is equals to BP. So angle side angle, can I say? Can I say angle side angle criteria is getting fulfilled over here and hence the two triangle will be congruent with each other. Can I say like that? Yes, ma'am. So we can say that triangle DAP will be congruent P which rule by angle side angle rule or angle side angle criteria. So Rumaisha, you must have understood that from this set of rule which I have written over there, any one should match. Then only we can say that the given two triangles are congruent with each other. All the information will be given in the question only, but sometimes the information will be given in the twisted way. You have to understand it, what exactly can be done over there. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Let's move to the next question. So suppose we are having this figure. Here we are having BC. Here we are having A, here is M, here is D. And the question says in the right, right triangle ABC. So ABC is a right angle triangle at C. This is 90 degree. M is the midpoint of the hypotenuse. M is the midpoint. That means AM is equals to BM. That is given in the question. Okay. The figure is also given in the question. No need to worry about the figure. And produce to D such that DM is equals to CM. We also have DM is equals to CM. Point D is joined to B. Show that AMC is congruent with triangle DMD. We also have to show that DBC We also have to show triangle DBC is congruent with triangle ACB. CM is equals to half of AB. So these are the things which we have to show over here. In the previous question, I have to show, like it was written over there to show that AD is equals to BE. Since we have shown that this triangle is congruent to that triangle, initially only I was telling you, like to both of you, Rumaisha and Efra, that when two triangles will be congruent, their corresponding side will also be congruent with each other. That means the length of the corresponding side will be equal to each other. So since we have shown that the first triangle is congruent with the second triangle, we can say AD is equal to B. Okay? By corresponding part of congruent triangle. Are you getting it, Rumaisha? Yes, ma'am. 
so since we have shown that this triangle is congruent to this triangle i told you in the beginning there will be corresponding angle there will be corresponding sides so here we can say ad then both are corresponding side hence both will be equal to each other how you will recognize which two are corresponding side if the triangle are given in any way you can also recognize from the name of the triangle i have written name of the triangle as dap is equals to epb so here if you will focus on the name of the triangle we can say that ad this side ad is equals to side be we can say side ap is equals to side so say side pd is equals to side pe got it both of you got it side pd is equals to side pe yes ma'am these are the corresponding sides you can get it from the name of the triangle from the name of the triangle only you can also get the corresponding angle you can say angle d of this triangle is equals to angle e of that triangle angle a of this triangle is equal to angle b of that triangle how am i identifying those just the ways written d here d at first there e at first so d and e are there that a at for after that there b after that so i can say angle a of this triangle is equals to angle b of that angle p of this triangle is equals to angle p of that triangle that's it now we can declare the corresponding side and the corresponding angle got it now let's get back to our next question so here we are having a right angle triangle abc which is right angled as c m is the midpoint i have written the condition am pm and i have also written whatever was given in the question c is joined to m and produced to d such that dm is equals to cm these two conditions i have written and this is what we have to prove it got it so we have to a and c and b and d if you will focus on amc this is amc and b and d this is b and d can you see both the triangles yes ma'am here what we know we need three criteria to say that this and that are same with each other so what are those three criteria first is already given am is equals to bm so this triangle this side is equals to that triangle this side okay let's write it am now the next is dm is equals to cm okay this triangle this side is equals to that triangle this side so let's write it dm is equals to cm what else can be taken over here anyone what else we can take here yeah anyone ha huh? what else can be taken over here uh um yes if i try one minute ma'am i'm checking yes yeah. mahesha what what is the third condition which we can take everything will not be given in the question we have to identify few condition from our side 
Ma'am, uh, angle ECB. BCD. Uh, can you e see both the triangle, Ifra? Yes, today only I was checking your copy. Uh, the last fortnight test you, which you have given and they, they are like I can see your name you are writing like which you want to represent is not that like uh, clear due to the name I am checking the copy I am getting confused that which triangle is exactly you want to represent can you see the blue color triangle and the green color triangle yes ma'am we are talking about this two triangle. Okay. We are trying to figure out is there anything same in this two triangle? Ma'am, EC is equal to uh, BD. Is it given? How can we say that AC and BD are same? Like, what is the reason behind that? That too we have to write. Here I will write the reason given. Here also I will write the reason given. What is the next? If, if you are saying that a season I need to mention here, tell me. Which reason we will be mentioning over here? Uh, can we say instead of this one, because we don't have any proper explanation for that. And whatever uh, we are taking, we must give the reason properly. So if we don't have any proper ex explanation for that, we cannot take that. So can we say this angle is equal to this angle? Can we say? Uh, yes. which, which angle are this? What is the reason? What I'm is common. the reason? Common yeah. angle. Common angle. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rumaisha, unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. This concept I have discussed with you also and you have given the exam also. Please tell me which two angles are this? Hmm? If I am drawing the line separately, AB and CD, and if I am saying that this angle is equal to this angle, can you tell me which two angles are this? Huh? Is it vertically opposite angle? Yes, ma'am. Two line intersecting each other. An angle in front of each other is a vertically opposite angle. That's it, right? Yes, so let's take it. We can take it, right? And what explanation we will give? We will give the explanation. This two are vertically opposite angle. And that explanation is valid also. Because yes, in, in reality, it's vertically opposite angle, right? Yes, yes ma'am. So let's write them. So we can say that angle C M A, please write the name properly. C M A, you can see I'm trying to represent angle M and if that is equals to angle B M D. These two angles are pair of vertically opposite angle. I need to write it over here. Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. Let me see the screen again.
Can you see? Yes, ma'am. So we have written that is just because both are vertically opposite angle. Now we have to check three criteria we got in, like three things we got in. We have to check what, which criteria or which rule exactly we are applying over here because again, I'm mentioning to both of you, we have to mention the rule also. Which rule you are applying? Are you applying side, side, side rule? Are you applying side, angle, side rule? Are you applying angle, side, angle rule? Which rule exactly you are applying to tell that both the triangle are exactly same with each other? So we, we can say, what I said to you, how you will recognize which rule you are applying. Just if you will focus on the detail, which you, I have listed beside the figure, that will not help you. That will misguide you. Better just go to your triangle and see which exactly sequence is getting maintained in any one of the triangle, either the green triangle or the blue triangle. Just focus on any one triangle and see which criteria is getting fulfilled. So here we can say one of the side we have taken same if I am focusing on green triangle. Another side I have taken same with any of the side and then one angle I have used over here. You just have to focus on those side, those angle, you just write it. Here you can see, just a minute now. so here we can say we are following the criteria of side included angle and then side okay can you see the pattern side angle side so you can say that triangle amc is congruent can you hear me both of you can you hear me am i audible yes. to i can hear you now is it clear now yes ma'am your voice was breaking it was breaking now uh, now can you hear me yes ma'am Okay, so there I can say that triangle, just a minute. So here we can say triangle AMC is congruent with triangle BMD. Here we have to write. The criteria by side angle side you will be writing triangle amc is congruent with triangle b and d by side angle side criteria again i am saying you have to mention the rule properly okay let me uh, is it clear the concept of congruency to both of you yes how we will check exactly which, like what's, how 
to start and how to proceed how to say whether two triangles are congruent or with each other or not is that clear to both of you yes ma'am yes ma'am let me move to the concept over here once you have understood that these two triangles are congruent i want you to do the rest of the part by yourself that is dbc is a right angle triangle dbc is congruent with triangle acb cm is equals to half of ab please try it this is question number 8 from exercise 7.1 note it down question number 8 from exercise 7.1 where i have started i have done the first part the rest of the part i am giving it to you okay have you noted okay ma'am yes ma'am yeah now some properties of triangle do you know uh, like uh, there are three types of triangle isosceles triangle isosceles triangle uh, equilateral triangle right so isosceles triangle are triangle where two sides will be same and do you know the opposite side opposite angle if these two sides are same then opposite to this side whatever angle is coming and opposite to this side whatever angle is coming those two angle will also be same do you know that about isosceles triangle yes ma'am yes rumaisha do you know or i need to explain it in detail yes ma'am you know that yes ma'am okay so that's the property of isosceles triangle which is mentioned over here also opposite angle will be same the side opposite to equal angle of a triangle are equal we know if two angles are equal if i am saying there is a triangle this may uh, let me say uh, the white board only if this angle is equals to this angle then we can say a b c if angle b is equals to angle c then we can say ac is equals to ab or if you are having a triangle that is isosceles triangle where you are only saying that ab ab and ac are saying then ab and ac are same then automatically this angle b will get same with angle c okay so if angles are given same you have to understand sides will be same if sides are given same then you have to understand that angle will also be same got it yes yeah so let me take one uh, question from the isosceles triangle concept Here we are having one triangle. we can say in an isosceles here the question is given as in an isosceles triangle abc with ab is equals to ac already given in the question that it is an isosceles triangle where ab and ac are same okay the bisector of angle b and angle c intersect each other at a point o okay this is not the figure this is the figure for question number 2 i believe yeah i have uh, taken the wrong figure let me draw the figure by our side there is a isosceles triangle the name of the triangle is abc a b c with ab is equals to ac the bisector of angle b and c intersect each other at a point o bisector of b and bisector of c intersect each other at point o 
can you see bisector means what cutting the angle into equal part if i am saying angle b is getting bisected that means this is equals to this if this is x this is x if i am saying angle c is getting bisected then that means this is equals to this if this is y this is y okay Okay, here it also says that join A to O. Let me draw it properly. This, this, and this. show that ob is equals to oc and ao bisect angle a this one and this one we have to show it over here what exactly we we know from the given information we know it's an isosceles triangle apart from that we also know that this angle x that angle x this angle y that angle y we know this much of information from there we have to show that this triangle like ob is equals to oc if you will look at ob and oc we are not sure that how exactly we can say that ob is equals to oc but if we will look at triangle number 1 and triangle number 2 is it possible to show that these two triangles are congruent with each other let's check whether we know few condition that that three condition which will say that this triangle and that triangle are exactly same that means congruent with each other so let's see can here it is already given at a ab is equals to ac right it is also given at as we know that total angle b is equals to total angle c we know that total angle b for from the triangle abc is equals to total angle c because that's what i was explaining you about the isosceles triangle right right about yes. isosceles triangle that's what i was explaining you if sides are given take like if sides are given same you take angle same if angles are given same you take sides same by yourself because opposite to the same side opposite angle will be same right so angle yes, b is equals to angle c that we got from the isosceles triangle condition now half of the b will also be equals to half of the c right yes ma'am that means half of b means what x is equals to y yes or no yes ma'am so here we can say angle a b o is equals to angle a c o okay so angle abo angle aco two criteria we have got already same from the triangle 1 and triangle 2 we got ab is equals to ac this and this we got x is equals to y what else can be taken anyone anyone what ma'am what is the next criteria which we can take as a same from triangle 1 and 2 look at the triangle carefully are you getting anything same apart from this angle the circled angle which i have taken already uh, equals to this which i have already taken what else yes ifra you were saying 
Ma'am, uh, I'm observing. What? Ma'am, I'm observing. Yeah. Just see the picture carefully. Rumaisha, you also. Yes, ma'am. APO, ACO. Look at it carefully. What is same? We can take by our side. Ma'am, uh, OA is equal to OA. Yes, Rumaisha, are you getting it? OA is equals to OA because OA is common in both the triangle. Yes, ma'am. So we can say OA is in this triangle and OA is also in that triangle. So these are same. That is common side, right? Now, which criteria we are getting? Can you tell me? Anyone? Ma'am, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. This side we got same. This side we got same and this angle we got same. So what can we say? SAS. SAS. No. S A and just after that S must be there. If I am taking this side, like I have taken AB is equals to AC. So obviously I have used this side. I have used the black side as said by the IFRA. And I have used this angle. Is it matching any criteria? Is it? Let me write all the formulas by which we can check whether two triangles are congruent or not. Criteria are side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, RHS. Anyone is matching over here? If you are saying angle, side, angle, that means just after the angle, side must be there. Just after the side, angle must be there. If you are saying side, angle, side, that means side, here only angle, and then just after that side must be there. Back to back, we need the sequence. Here, can you see it's not back to back? If you are taking this side, uh, if you are taking, let me show you. If you are taking this side, then you can you see that this side is getting this, this side. We are not using the darker one. We are not using it. So after this side, nothing is there. Then angle is there. So we cannot say side, angle, side. Right? Yes, ma'am. So what can we say? Here we have to think about any of the criteria which must match. And till now, whatever information we have written, it's not matching. Okay. So we have to think about any possibility which will give us the criteria, any of the criteria. Ma'am, okay. uh, we can do OB is equal to OC. Yes, we can take OB is equals to OC. Why we are taking OB is equals to OC? Because already I have written over there X is equals to Y. So if X is equals to Y, we can say the opposite side of the triangle will be same. So we can take here that side OB is equals to side OC. And once we will say that side OB is equals to side AC or OC, then here this side and this side is same. Now forget about that angle XY. That angle we cannot use. Okay. Here few rules only we are having Rumaisha and Ifra. And from those rules only we have to identify which congruency criteria is matching over here. So now I can say I got one more side same. As Ruma, uh, Ifra said OB is equals to OC. 
so we got side 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 now there is there any rule which says side 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 yes there is a rule which says if side 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 are same then we can say both the triangles are congruent with each other got it yes ma'am and since these two triangles are congruent with each other ao will bisect angle a because this angle if we are having this if we are if we are taking this triangle and this triangle are congruent with each other their corresponding part will be equals to each other so here we can say this angle a and this angle a will be equals to each other by corresponding part of congruent triangle okay hence we can say angle a is getting bisected by ao angle a is getting bisected by ao is that clear to both of you yes ma'am so this is how we will see the congruency criteria isosceles triangle i have just given the overview related to that i'll give you few homework so that you can try everything in this chapter is all about congruency okay so you have to understand the concept of congruency very well and if that is not clear please do let me know we will be discussing about that again okay so whatever we have discussed is there any confusion from that portion no ma'am yes ramaisha are you getting it ma'am yes ma'am i'm getting it okay okay then i am keeping it this much for today please give the assessment related to this topic just after the class homework i am sending you okay